Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. May Allah bless us with more blessings and keep us safe and healthy, worshiping Him and thanking Him for all the gifts and blessings He has given us. Our biggest gift from Prophet from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Prophet Muhammad that Allah has sent down to us as His final messenger to guide us and to guide the nation of Islam, to teach the world how to live with a proper said life of calmness. The, the light of Iman. Thank you for everyone who is participating and showed up in this beautiful event to remember Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and honor, honor him with these characteristics that will be reflected upon what he taught us and how he taught us to live. We will be starting off with Quran from Abdul Rahman Malas and Muhammad Barakat. O believers in Allah, we have sent you a messenger from among yourselves, reciting to you our revelations, verifying you, teaching you the book of wisdom, and teaching you what you never knew. Remember me, I will remember you, thank me, and never be ungrateful. Seek, O believers in Allah, seek comfort and patience in prayer, for Allah is truly with those who are patient. MashaAllah, may Allah grant us the blessings of the Quran throughout our entire lives to help us in memorizing and applying the beautiful book of Allah into our lives. Um, now we'll be, we will be having a uh, du'a poetry by Saja and I. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal-an ma'a shi'ar wa du'a min al-talib Abdullah Muhammad wa talib Saja Hazallah. رباه صل على النبي محمد أزكى الصلاة وسلم تسليما بارك عليه وآله مع صحبه والقائمين بنهجه تقويما وبعثه محمود المقام مكرما أنت الكريم فزد له التكريما يا من أمرت فقلت فيما قلته صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما هذه الصلاة وإنه لك عابد أنت العظيم فزد له التعظيما رباه بالفردوس واجمعنا به متقابلين ونشرب التسليما والوالدين وآلنا كل معا في جنة أبدعتها تصميما والقارئين لما كتبت وكلنا يا رب يا رب نرجو العفو والتكريم Oh Allah, bless Prophet Muhammad with the purest prayer and greetings. Bless him and his family and his companions, and bless those who follow his beliefs. Grant him a place of honor and praise. You are the generous, so increase his honor. O oh, you who commanded and said among what you said, pray for him and say salam to him. This is the prayer and he is your worshiper. You are the greatest, so exalt him. God bless him in paradise and unite us with him to drink from his name. And our parents and our families are all together in a garden you masterly designed. And to all the readers of what I have written, O oh Lord, hope for forgiveness and honor. O oh Allah, Lord of the worlds, Amen. Thank you, Sajjah. Um, 
We will now have uh, the short, short speech about the Prophet's tolerance by Jude Awad and Kawthar. So welcome. Well, I'm Mahajid Qasim, Rathai by Jude Awad and Kawthar. Every day we're met with hardships in our lives, whether as small as a bad grade on our tests or as large as losing a loved one, both of these situations are going to require tolerance. What is your tolerance? Tolerance is your capacity to endure pain, but also keep it from controlling you. Now in both of these situations, you're going to feel upset and hurt, but the real question is, are you going to let it affect your daily life and start to let it bring you to a point where everything in your, all of your hard work is now gone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us through tests not to hurt us or punish us, but because he wants us to have a chance to earn in the hereafter. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had many hardships. In fact, all of the prophets before him were put through many tests. But one that I look back at and find comfort in was the year of sorrow. First started with a boy caught by the kuffar, and then afterwards his wife Khadija radiallahu anha and Abu Talib, his uncle, had died. Even after all that hurt and pain that he went through, he stayed patient and had faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah rewarded him with a trip called Asra al Maraj. I like to look back at this because it reminds me that this is just dunya. And no matter what we're put through, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward us. Maybe not in this, in this life, but in the life after. A place we can't imagine he has something stored for us. And remembering that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and rewarding can help bring that little light inside of us. And when we push through for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can all meet in Jannah inshaAllah. Thank you. While Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam preached Islam to the people of Quraysh, the leaders prosecuted and opposed him and those who converted to Islam. In the year of sorrow, the Prophet's beloved wife Khadija radiallahu anha and his uncle Abu Talib passed away. After the death of Khadija and Abu Talib, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wanted to continue to spread the da'wah of Islam. So he went to a nearby city called Talib. Talib is a city roughly 40 miles away from Mecca. And then hoped that the people of Talib would accept the message of Allah, Prophet Muhammad said Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam met with the chiefs of the major tribe of Allah, the Taqif tribe. He alayhi wa sallam told them about Islam, worshipping only one God and leaving idol worship. They rejected his message and insulted him. Not only did they refuse to listen to his message, but they sent the children of their tribe to throw stones at him and drive him out of their town. With people ridiculing him as his ankles bled, he ran out finding shelter in an empty fruit orchard. Allah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam began to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللهم إليك أشكو الله قوتي وقيلة حيلتي وهواني على الناس يا أرحم الراحمين أنت رب المستضعفين وأنت ربي إلى من تكيني إلى بعيد يتجهمني أم إلى عدو ملكته أمي إن لم يكن بك علي غضب فلا أبالي ولكن عافيتك هي أوسع لي أعوذ بنور وجهك الذي أشفقت له الظلماء وصلح عليه أمر الدنيا والآخرة من أن ينزل بي غضبك أو يحلى علي صحتك لك العرض حتى ترضى ولا حول ولا قوة إلا To you, my Lord, I complain of my weakness, lack of support, and the humiliation I am made to receive. Most compassionate and merciful, you are the Lord of the weak, and you are my Lord. To whom do you leave me? To a distant person who receives me with hostility, or to an enemy, you have given power over me. As long as you are not displeased with me, I do not care what I face. I would, however, be much happier with your mercy. I seek refuge in the light of your face, by which all darkness is dispelled, and both this life and the life to come are put in your right course against incurring your wrath, or being the subject of your aim. To you I submit until I earn your pleasure. Everything is powerless without your support. In response to this dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Angel Jibreel to offer the destruction of Ta'if, saying, Allah has heard what your people say to you and how they reject you. He has ordered the angels of the mountains to obey whatever you tell them to do. The angels of the mountains greeted him and said, Send me to do what you wish. If you wish, I will crush him between the two mountains of Mecca. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Rather, I hope that Allah will bring forth from their young those who will worship Allah alone and not associate any, anyone with him. 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam could have asked for punishment for the people of Ta'if for the, the hardships they put him through. But with a great act of sabr, mercy, and kindness, he prayed for those who harmed him. While he alayhi salam, was sitting in the orchard, a servant, Adas, a Nazarite, approached him with grace. Accepting the fruit with thanks, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and began to eat. Adas asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, the meaning of the words he said, out of curiosity, for, for he had not heard these words said before. The Prophet asked him where he came from, and the slave replied, Nineveh. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the land of Jonah, son of Mecca. The, the young man was startled that Prophet Muhammad knew of Prophet Jonah. After telling the Prophet that he was Christian, Adas asked the Prophet who he was and how he knew Prophet Jonah. The Prophet Adisram said, Jonah is my brother. He was a prophet and I am a prophet. Adas was amazed. He knew that this man must be a prophet. Adas kissed the Prophet's heads and hands and he immediately accepted his death. So the Prophet's mission for thought was not totally in vain. Adas, a single person, had completely embraced this man after meeting and speaking with the Prophet, peace be upon him. I just wanted to share one thing about Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad said, a true believer is the one who only gets hurt when something about Islam is affected. So as they just said, uh, when the Prophet was thrown rocks at, he could have had the mountains crushed between them. But he chose not to because he was hurt and not Islam in general. Next, we will have a short play about the importance of daily prayers by Fatima Wahbi and Sara Zawi. Aren't you going to pray, Fatima? No, Mama, I'm busy now. The prayer is more important than anything you are doing. Is it more important than studying, Mama? Of course. Prayer is mandatory for a Muslim and it must be done no matter what. What if he is sick and he can't stand on his feet? Yes, Fatima, in this case, he should pray while sitting. What if he can't sit? And he should pray while standing up, uh, while laying on his side. Okay, inshallah, I'll do my, I'll pray when I'm done with my homework. Um, no, Fatima, praying on time is one of the good deeds Allah loves the most. Allah says in the Quran, do you know what you call me? No, Mama. It means to do your prayer on time the best way you can. Allah says in the Quran, uh, in the Quran in Surah Nisa, in the Salat, I can't tell you what you mean, I can't tell you what you mean. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll make wudu and come back. So we can pray Jama'ah. Oh, we pray Jama'ah at home? Of course we can. Okay. Don't forget to make that in your sujood. Why in sujood, Mama? Because the closest the, book, the slave comes to his Lord is while he's prostrating. Okay, inshallah, I'll ask Allah for all my wishes. So praying is one of the most important pillars and aspects of Islam. It is your religious aspect about Islam. Praying your five daily prayers only gets you closer and more loved by Allah. The Prophet said the difference between us and them is Salah. Um, so now I have a, a question uh, for the students. So, who is titled Father of All Prophets? Hayza, Hayza.
السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين In Islam, gratitude is a form of worship and according to Islam, one of our foremost duties is to be grateful to God and for all his blessings he has given us in this life. There are a few ways you can show your gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these are to realize your blessings in full and witness them with your heart. The next is a verbal thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even by just saying alhamdulillah or a simple dua is enough. And for the last of the ways you can express your gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to express your gratitude through morbid deeds. Qala ta'ala wa la in shakartum la azidan lakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised to give more blessings when we show more gratitude. We must always remember to be grateful for all of his blessings Allah has bestowed upon us. Even for the simple things like vision, hearing, and feelings, as mentioned in Surah Al-Mulk, are taken for granted. And not all people are blessed with these simple things. In chapter 55 of the Quran, titled The Lord of Mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked the same question 31 times. Which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us and then given us the things in the world we can have abundance in. We are getting benefits from all of his creations, such as the sun, the moon, the clouds, rain, air, grasslands, animals, plants, and rivers, and so many other things we have abundance in. And after realizing all this abundance, how can a sensible person be anything but thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Thank you. Always thank Allah for each and every blessing you have. Thank Allah and it will be the best for you. Thank Allah and he will increase you in the blessing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and if you thank me, I will increase you in blessings. So I have another question. Um, this, is a, this one is a bit um, tricky, but what are the sacred months in the Hijrah calendar? Almost. Say it again. Good job. before and after Islam. Women's treatment before Islam. Bawa, bring me the fatwa. Naam. Hina, our daughter is getting married to Allah and to Rab tomorrow. Inti, make sure to wear your best dress tomorrow. Why? Someone is coming over tomorrow. Who? You are getting married to Allah's bin to Rob tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> the next day. Marhaba Nash. Marhaba Laos. Do you have the dowry we discussed? Yes. Show them your generosity.
your labor by myself. None of your business. Where is my son? Alas, you don't have a son. You have a beautiful baby girl. A baby girl? Later that day. And my friend, what's wrong? It is so shameful, I cannot say. Nothing can be so shameful that you cannot tell your best friend. I had a baby girl this morning. A baby girl? That is shameful. And I'm solving problems. How? Just end her existence. A few hours later. <laughs>
Under the umbrella of Islam, women are entitled to choose their husband, get an education, have a job, have an income, her inheritance, but most importantly, fully live her life. So now I'm going to ask you guys another question. In which uh, the battles did the angels uh, be sent down to fight next to the Muslims in the battlefield? Yes, that's correct. Allah 
And now Pastor reported God's messenger as saying, God records the good deeds and evil deeds. If anyone intends to, to do a good deed but does not do it, God enters it in his record as a complete good deed. And if he intends to do a good deed and does it, God enters it in his record as 10 to 700 times and many more times as much. And if he intends to do an evil deed but does not do it, God records it in his record as one good deed. And if he intends to do an evil deed and does it, God enters it in his record as one evil deed. Before I next play, I would like to ask another question. Where did Prophet Muhammad وسلم, receive the first revelation? That's correct. So now we will be having 11th grade students asking a play about the suffering of the early Muslims in the first migration to Epsilon. So while we wait, ask another question. Um, so who was who was the who was the title of Khalilullah? Name the student. Who was the title of Khalilullah? Good job. Okay. Um, Abu Jahl and Abu Sufyan were two warlords of Mecca. They sent a delegation to King Najashi and Habasha to kick out the Muslims, and they specifically sent boxes of leather and jewelry. Oh, Bishop, here's a gift for you, my friend. I hope we may be able to be true companions. Of course, my friend. You are my friend, and I shall support you. Mwahaha! -ha -ha. <laughs> the Muslims then needed to plead their case to King Najashi. Okay, there's a group of evil people from among our youth who have escaped to your kingdom. They practice a religion which neither we nor you know. They have forsaken both our religion and yours. Support us and side with your brothers. What say you about this? Okay, they speak the truth. Their own people know them better and know what they have done. Send them back so that they may be judged for their immoral actions. No, by God I will not send them back until I have called upon them myself. I will not listen to just one person's word. O oh, people of Arabia, welcome to my land. They say that you practice a religion not from my people nor your people. What is this religion? O oh, king, we were people in the state of ignorance and immorality. We committed all sorts of sins. We remained like this until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a prophet from among us. He commanded us to speak the truth on our promises, be kind to our relations, especially our parents, and to abstain from all acts of bloodshed. Collect yourself. Allah told us, he told us to worship Allah Taala alone and not to associate anyone or anything with them. He told us to pray Salah, fast in the month of Ramadan, and give zakat. We believed in him and what he brought from us from Allah Taala. We also used to abuse women, but they are now seen as equals. Women equal to us since when? <laughs> Silence, let in thy man speak. After this, O king, our people attacked us tortured us, and they did this so that we may renounce our religion. So we left for your country, choosing you before anyone else, hoping to live in the peace and justice in your midst because you are a very fair and just king. What is this book that your prophet brought down from your God? Read it to me. Jafar then recited ayat to Sutta Maryam. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qala inni abdullahi atani al-kitab wa ja'alani nabiyya wa ja'alani mubarakan aynama kunt 
أوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ما دمت حيا وبر بوالدتي ولم يجعلني جبار شقيا والسلام علي يوم ولدت ويوم أموت ويوم أبعد حيا Jesus declared, I am truly a servant of Allah. He has destined me to be in the scripture and to be a prophet. And he has not made me arrogant or defiant. And he has made me dutiful to my mother. Peace be the day I was born, the day I died, and the day I'm resurrected. Our religions are like two lights from the same source. There is only a fine line difference. No, that's false. By God, I will not give them up, even for a pot of gold. You and your people must leave my land at once, and they can stay in my land for as long as they want. Takbir! 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 The Muslims came back from Abyssinia to be hit with another hard challenge when they were boycotted by the Quraysh. They were pushed away from their homes to a faraway valley with no food supply until they ate the leaves of the trees. Miraculously, the termites ate the Sahih page in which the Quraysh dedicated all the unfair conditions of the boycott. Abu Talib requested the believers to end this unfair boycott against the early Muslims. Unfortunately, the Prophet Muhammad had to face another hard test when he lost his wife Khadija and uncle Abu Talib, his two greatest supporters in the process of spreading the new religion of worshipping one God. This year was called the Year of Sorrow, or Am al The Prophet Muhammad was set of determination. Prophet Muhammad was said of determination was stronger than any challenge he faced in his lifetime. He made his mind up to not surrender to any pain or agony that he faced. Instead, he took his da'wah to the next level in the city of al but he was rejected, humiliated, and physically hurt until the point that his feet were bloody and wounded. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is Samia, Basir, and Mujib, answered the Prophet's da'wah when he complained about his weakness. Indeed, Allah is there for those who strive on his path. The light of the heavenly children of Israel and Maharaj came at the end of the tunnel to show Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he will be supported and trusted to continue spreading Allah's word. And he will be trusted with the banner of guidance from all previously sent prophets because he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led them in prayer in al The reaction of the disbelievers to Israel with Maharaj was not better than before. In fact, they even used this as evidence against the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In Surah Al-Isra, Allah revealed his support for the Prophet. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي بعثنا حوله ليريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما غوى وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى علمه شديد القوى By the stars, when they fade away, your fellow man is not misguided nor astray, nor does he speak of his own whims. Indeed, it is a book revealed to him, taught to him by an angel of might. We thank Allah for guiding us to Islam and to this beautiful miracle that He gave us. Alright, I have another question for you guys. What are the two and only words that are heavy in the scale and light for the tongue to say? Parents. Teacher Susan wants to answer it again. Does anyone have the students now? That's right, great job. Now uh, we will have uh, poetry from Hiba and Hamdi and Muhammad Abu Hamad and Muhammad Al Jahan. Salam alaikum. 
أبي وأمي أنت يا خير الورى وصلاة ربي والسلام معطرى لك يا رسول الله صدف محبة وبفيضها جيد اللسان وعطرى لك يا رسول الله صدف محبة فاقت محبة من على وجه الثرى الرحمة المهداة جاء مبشرا ولأفضل الأديان قام فأنذرا ولأكرم الأخلاق جاء متمما يدعو لأحسنها ويمحو المنكرا صلى عليه الله في ملكوته ما عاقب ما قام عبد في الصلاة وكبرا صلى عليه الله في ملكوته ما عاقب الليل النهار وأدبرا وختامها عاد الكلام بما بدا بأبي وأمي أنت يا خير الورى By my father and my mother, you are the best of all people, and the praise of Allah and fragrant peace. To you, O Messenger of Allah, true love flows from the tongue. And for you, O Messenger of God, true love exceeds the love for all mankind. The bestowed mercy was a sign for the sake of the best of religions. He rose and offered a warning. And to the most honorable of morals, he brought perfection, calling for the best and erasing the evil. May Allah's prayers be upon him in his kingdom. And as a servant stands in his prayer and says, Allahu Akbar, may Allah's prayers be upon him in his kingdom as night follows day. And to conclude and say again, by my father and my mother, you are the best of all. حبيبي تميل ومعيدي هذا الشاهد هو دليل أما الدليل إذا ذكرت محمدا فترى دموع العارفين تسير هذا رسول الله هذا المصطفى هذا لرب العالمين رسول هذا النبي الهاشمي محمد هذا لكل العالمين رسول صلى الله عليك الله يا عالم الهدى ما لها بدر في السماء دليل صلى الله عليك الله يا عالم الهدى ما حين مشتاق وصار جميل all hearts lean towards the beloved, the Prophet, and I have with me witness and evidence. And as for the evidence, if you mention Muhammad, you see the tears of those who love him. This is the Prophet of Allah, this is the chosen Prophet by Allah, this is the messenger of the Lord of the world. This Prophet Muhammad from Bani Hashim, this is the messenger to all worlds. May Allah's blessings be upon you, O knower of guidance, who never the moon is on the sky every night. You guys know the drill. What is the most significant verse in the Quran? A verse now, so repeat the question. Ayah, get thirsty. Yes, sir. from 10th grade. 10th grade students will be presenting a short play about Oh My Lord, I Have Hurried to You. Assalamu alaikum. I've been on my feet all day. Is there any food when I get home? Alaikum assalam. By the way, I just tested positive for COVID-19. Oh no, that's not good. Does that mean we're not going to have any food when I get home? Is that all you care about? Don't worry. Assalamu alaikum, ya ibni. Wa alaikum salam. Can you make something quick for your dad? Do I have to? Yes, ya ibni. Okay, I'll give him a comeback from the house. Allah illa alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. Today, my dear respected brothers and sisters, I will be talking about the importance of salah. So I'm going to give you guys a verse, and I'm going to need a translation and a hadith for it. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا Who can give me a translation for Go ahead, brother. Indeed, prayer has been decreed at decreed specified times. Very good, mashallah. There's a hadith for this. Does anyone know the hadith? Go ahead. Very good, mashallah. Okay, I have one final verse and I'm going to need a translation for it. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم حافظوا على الصلوات والصلاة الوسطى وقوموا لله قانتين Who can give me a translation? Go ahead, brother. Maintain with care the obligatory prayers and in particular the middle prayer in his name before Allah, devoutly obedient. ما شاء الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brother, can you make it out? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح
حافظوا على الصلوات والصلاة الوسطى وقوموا لله قانتين سمع الله لمن حمده الله الله Allah wants praise now. Okay. Oh no, I forgot to praise him. Thank you, Tanya Fury. Um, that was amazing. MashaAllah. Um, Alright, so this time around, I'm going to ask you guys two questions. And you guys need to think two treats this time. There's no guarantees, so you're going to be easy. So don't judge me. Alright, so the first question is. Who were from the Prophet's wives who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibreel with a greeting message her from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Adam Naji, I saw you. Yes, that's correct. Alright. So to be honest, I'm not really sure about this one myself, so I'm going to leave it to you guys. When is the time for angels to change shifts? Yes, that's right. Uh, now we will be having a song by the fifth grade titled Peace Be Upon You. Hey, Abina, you have your mouth out with soft and sad as one true love. Salah alaykum. Allah. Alright, Thank you. 
Good job, sixth grade. Thank you, guys. Um, before moving on to our, our final du'a by Ibrahim Muhammad, um, I just wanted to state that, alhamdulillah, for this Islamic environment, and we thank Allah that He gave us the chance to do things like this at our, our school, because no one gets this everywhere. We thank Allah for the Islamic environment. And now we're going to have the du'a by Ibrahim Muhammad. اللهم اعتق رقابنا ورقاب ابائنا من النار اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم اغفر لي ولوالدي والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الاحياء منهم والاموات اللهم بارك لنا في شعبان وبلغنا رمضان اللهم بارك لنا في شعبان وبلغنا رمضان اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في النبيين وصل على سيدنا محمد في المرسلين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين اللهم آمين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين having the closing speech by Dr. Gama. So welcome. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Thank you parents for coming. It's so exciting to see parents back in the building. We can, you cannot imagine how much, uh, how we are, much we are happy to see you. Uh, and inshallah, we are going back to normal soon. Uh, don't you agree with me that the students did a wonderful job? Yes. Jazakallah khair, Sister Sana and Sister Amina and all the Islamic Studies teachers who have prepared the students. Uh, they did a wonderful job. MashaAllah, you also displayed with uh, very good behavior during the program. Um, so, another round of applause to them. And that's what we take pride in our school here, to see that our students are practicing and learning about the Prophet and about uh, characters that they need to practice uh, in their daily lives. There's nothing, nothing can equal that in any other school. You can get education anywhere, but you cannot get Islamic education except here. And this is amazing for and I thank parents for their commitment to Islamic education because you cannot imagine what's going on in the outside world without the Islamic education. Uh, in other schools you hear um, tragic stories, you hear uh, horror stories, but alhamdulillah for, for this school you can count on your students in a safe environment they will not be exposed to any of the outside environment that, uh, that they are exposed to in other schools. Um, some stu some uh, parents believe that we might have a little bit of bullying, but compared 
compare this school to other schools, we have zero tolerance for bullying. But if you imagine in other schools 1,000 or 100,000 times as here, uh, imagine um, what they are exposed to in terms of teachers, and if you actually follow the news about what's going on uh, in Florida and what they want to teach kids from KG to third grade, um, and parents are fighting it, and so it's, it's just nonsense going on in, uh, in the world around us. And alhamdulillah for, for the Islamic education, and alhamdulillah for Sunnah Rasul Allah. Jazakum Allah khair for coming. Students, I'm so proud of you. You did an amazing job, mashallah. We have talents here actually. Uh, so, mashallah, we can use that in the future. Jazakum Allah khair for coming. Assalamu alaikum Thank you guys for everything. Thank you parents for coming. Thank you Dr. Kamal. Thank you students. Thank you Mrs. Sanai. Thank you Ms. Amanda. Thank you everyone. We appreciate it.